friends, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Happy Wednesday. I, uh, my voice is still hoarse, so y'all please have to excuse that. Um, today I am here with Nicholas in my lap. Say hello. Nicholas, say hello. Nicholas is my Saskia boy. Um, Kenzie is also in the background and Asia and Pipier are behind me. So a few of my babies. Um, and I, I'll probably pick up Kenzie. Um, I came on, <coughs> my voice is bad. I'm sorry guys. Um, once I kind of get going, it stops crackling. So here we go. <laughs> uh, so I came on today for a chat. Um, as many of you know, um, you know, I come on here to, um, you know, share my dolls and the hobby. And part of it is my vlog, my journey here as a reborn doll collector. Um, and, you know, it's been interesting um, going along and um, learning that there is so many working parts to the doll collecting hobby, um, especially when you get to the point where you get a community involved and you know um you know because it, it's in one way or another if you're really getting into it and investing in these dolls and things like that you need to be on some level um you know whether it's uh you know just to know about artists uh, different sculpts, different, you know, it's, you don't want your head in the sand, <laughs> you know, but today I'm going to talk about, and, you know, I'm able to, you know, when I come on and talk, I'm not, you know, talking about uh, second or third party information, you know, I'm talking to you all about my own personal experiences, what I have seen with my own two eyes, heard with my own two ears, how I felt, how I've experienced it, etc. Um, so an important topic, I think, uh, and I think that, uh, I think, and you can all comment below and let me know where you're at, but I think as you grow in this community and go on, and especially if you're, if you're a channel creator, if you're a YouTuber, you're, you're going to experience a certain amount of milestones, and with that, you're going to experience a certain amount of stuff <laughs> that comes along with, with being here. So today the topic is boundaries, setting boundaries with other people. Um, I believe, um, firmly believe that everyone here should be and should have the right to be here in the way that they are most comfortable, i.e. meaning the amount of time that they spend, what they share, who they choose to watch, be friends with, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I'm just gonna come right out and not not beat around the, the bush um, because I've had several experiences and one just sticks out above all the rest and I'm kind of going back and looking and seeing where I made mistakes and stuff like that. And that's with people um, crossing boundaries um, as far as um, anybody that knows me, even in kind of the slightest way, knows that I don't do the drama. I don't roll that way. Don't come to me talking about other people, your problems with other people, what you don't like about other people, what other people said about you, what other people did. It's, it's not why I'm here. I'm here to enjoy this hobby and to share my dolls and to share some of myself with all of you. Um, I have limited time here. You know, you all see me and I put my all and my passion into talking to you and making my videos and posting my pictures, but I have a whole life, a extremely complicated, busy life outside of, you know, what I do here. So 
this, the hobby, the dolls, it's my escape. It's my enjoyment, my entertainment, my hobby. <laughs> um, some people are here and in it all in and they, they really just, you know, um, uh, you know, they're kind of just there for everything and everywhere. And, and I'm not knocking that. It's what I'm saying is, is everyone should come and be here to their comfort level, spending the time and in the places and areas that they, they wish what they, you know, what they enjoy, what brings them joy. That's, that's all I'm, I'm you know, saying with that. I have you know, a limit of, you know, where I want to be. And, um, you know, it seems that people will use um, guilt, mental health issues, like playing on your, your guilt and you're feeling sorry to wiggle their way, you know, further and further in, you know, um, getting you to spend more and more time, you know, answering messages back to them, you know, th throwing them a bone and being nice and because you want to be polite because you feel like, oh, wow, this person is, you know, blatantly saying I, I have depression, I have this, I have that, and I'm, I'm crying out for help and please be my friend. I'm, I just want a friend. <laughs> you know, how do you be, you know, not that you be me, but it, you know, it, it's hard to just br brush someone off like that. So you try to be polite. And, um, in this particular case, um, and you know, I don't throw names there. Don't even ask me. Don't, don't even go there. I won't, you know, I won't go there. I'm just, you know, pulling from the experience. Um, you know, this particular person, um, you know, I, I think there was probably a few previous messages, uh, t you know, talking about our artists or sculpt or, um, maybe even migraines or just something generic that, you know, we all chit chat about. Um, and out of the blue, a couple months ago, I get a message. Did you see my video today? Now, I'm not a regular watcher of this person's video. I'm not a regular watcher of most videos because I just don't have the time. Um, you know, and when I come, I watch what I want to watch. <laughs> you know, I, I don't, you know. But this person went out of their way to ask me to watch their video. And I did, and, you know, what I saw broke my heart, you know. They're just sobbing uncontrollably, and, you know, this is wrong, and that's wrong, and I'm in so much pain mentally and physically, and you can clearly see this person's hurting. So, you know, I said to myself, oh, gosh, you know, how, how sad. And then immediately, this person starts in this person made a video about me and this friend turned their back on me and, you know, uh, I, I don't know, giving me the statistics on suicide and she could be the last person I reached out to, um, crying for help. And, well, <laughs> you can't expect, you know, people, you have to go to the right places for, um, you know, suicide crisis and mental health crisis. You can't get mad at reborn doll collectors because they stopped answering your messages because it's all about your depression and you're this or you're that or whatever it was. I don't know. I wasn't involved in any of that. But I just tried to reason and say, look, first off, I don't want to hear about this. I don't want to hear you talking nasty or mean about someone else. And it's, you know, everyone's entitled to be here and what's, you know, I was really, boom, red flag. There was my point to say, you know what, I, I don't, you know, please don't message me anymore. Or just simply block the person, whatever I had to do to, to put that, that wool. But what I did was, again, I tried to reason with the person. And when I, and I said, you know, I don't come to me with this. 
and, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Really, I just, you know, want nice friends. I'm just trying to make friends. And I said, you know, you, I, I said, when I have time, you want to chat about sculpts, the dolls, the hobby, you know, uh, you know, migraine headaches we have in common, whatever. It, it's, you know, um, I don't have a ton of time, but I'll answer you when I can and left it at that. And systematically, you know, this person started watching my channel, commenting on my channel. And then, you know, after my videos, messaging me, you know, instead of using the comment section for what it is, and, you know, you need to private message me to discuss my video, make a comment and talk about the topic in the video. Why are you private messaging me? Um more red flags, more red flags. And, you know, so that would go on for whatever. I don't really know time frame a week or whatever. And then all of a sudden another message, boom. Uh, this person, I think they made a video about me and they're talking about me, blah, 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 blah. Cut the person off, stopped them dead in their tracks. Again, I am really sorry, I don't. And each time I had to say this four, five, six times, I got firmer and firmer. I don't roll this way. Don't throw names at me. Don't talk to me about other people. I, I'm i not going to have it and I'm not going to talk to you anymore if you continue to do this. Oh, I'm sorry. Ba, 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 ba. <sighs> then there was a few videos that I made about answering people's DMs and you know, time consuming and how people can be overbearing and, you know, um, saying, why don't you watch my videos? Why don't you comment on my video? You know, people that are being a pain and being overbearing. And I didn't have this person on my mind. I, we, I, you know, and I believe I commented on someone else's video and I get a message. I saw you commented on such and such video and uh, you know, I think you were talking about me and I want you to know that I'm not pushy. I'm a real friend and on and on and on. Boom, red, f I mean, boom, people, boom. Like, really? Did I, I, you know, I'm sitting here looking back like I am some kind of moron for, you know, not just Block. Ugh. In the back of my head, I'm still feeling sorry. You know, still feeling sorry. So I said to this person, this is the last time that you're going to pull this crap with me. And I was firm. I said, "I my video wasn't about you. I wasn't, you know, I had nothing to do with it. You know, I said, I don't. You know, I, you're, you're becoming overbearing. You're constantly coming to me paranoid, thinking everyone's talking about you. I don't want to hear names. I don't want to, went over the whole thing. And the one last plea of, I'm sorry. And when this person would plea the, the moment of clarity, they sound reasonable in the way that they're talking. Okay. So I left that. So I made a video yesterday to those of you that have been here and thank you for watching and saw my video yesterday um, about that scammer on Instagram and how wonderful it was that we all stood together and da 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 and everyone, um, you know, commented some lovely comments and everybody's glad that that one account was stopped. I mean, they could open another one, but regardless. Um, and in that video, I think there was like, you know, a, a, a very small part where, you know, I said, as a community, it gives me hope. Everyone's standing together, da 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 And hopefully people will, you know, um, apply that everywhere. And we don't have to get all, all get along, but respect one another. And when you see other channels, you know, um, you know, uh, constantly being negative and name calling and belittling people and, you know, quote bullying, you know, to, you know, just not watch and boycott and maybe me and I said, and maybe make a comment and say, I don't like what you're doing. You know, I'm not coming back to your channel. So whatever, you know, not, it was just, I mean, no one else, 
you know, even in the comments of my videos, to what, anything, you know, up. this person messages me and, oh, I had someone bullying me in a video and no one stood up for me and da 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 and I said, look. I said, enough is enough is enough. I said, you know, I, I ask you not to come to me with this, this garbage. I, I, I've had enough. And boom, there it was, the next message, the name of the person and the video popped out. And but, and I know for a fact you've watched this channel. <laughs> and you know, so how come you won't stand up for me and go and comment and tell her she's wrong and blah, 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 blah. I, I mean, did I, I'm scratching my head now wondering what planet I was on because I didn't remember telling anyone, oh, please come to me name by name and let me know who's made a video about you because I'm going to go stand up to you and attack that bully for you. Who? Many of you that know me, that watch my channel, that have been around know that people have made videos about me. <laughs> Thing. And now the video that was made about this person was not bullying in any way. This person went on and basically made a, you know, not a whole video. It was a, a, a minute and a half section out of an entire video where they described this person in this circumstance and how they pushed themselves on them and this, that, and the other thing. And she just happened to name her at the end. And that was it. It, it was done. It's over with. Nobody's you know, it was that, that was it. It was their, them sharing their personal experience. It wasn't bullying. But that's besides the point. Again, I'm saying to myself, I have had people literally like for absolutely no reason, people that I've never spoken to in my life that I didn't even know who they were, are on YouTube saying terrible things, name calling and terrible things about me. I don't respond to that. I ignore it. And I've asked people because at one time it happened that I, that somebody said something and I realized wow, I, I had to say, what channel is it? What's the name? So I could type it. I had no idea who these people were. And I said, you know, what? I said, it's really sad that someone would just be going and go watch it through my videos. They were half truths, whatever. It doesn't even matter. And I said, I please don't. You know, I kind of just said to everyone, don't tell me if someone's making videos about I don't want to know because I'm not, what do I, I looked and I was like, first off, where it was coming from, I was like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess if my best friend is on here <laughs> talking crap about me, maybe somebody should let me know, yo, Tasha. <laughs> <laughs> you got a backstabber there. But ridiculous, like, like I give a rat's behind what, you know, so for someone to, you know, again, come to me and think that I'm going to go, it's just craziness. So I just said, I've asked you not to name people. I've asked you not over and over and over. I said, it's time for us to part ways. I have a family. I have children. I have a business. I simply don't have time to go over my boundaries with you for the umpteenth millionth time because you're ready to kill yourself and this and that and I. It's here are our hotline numbers, get in touch with groups. You know, I, I am not, I, you know, I can only help someone so far. So I, I didn't say anything nasty. I said, I wish you well. Uh, my prayers are with you. God bless. That was it. I let that person come in and have the last word because you know how people need to have the last word. Let that person have the last word. No, I saw the message and then I blocked. I'm like, okay, done with this, done with this.
about 20 minutes later, and now mind you, now it's like 1.30 in the morning, I get a message request and I pop on and I look. It's this woman's husband. Are you kidding me? How my wife is in such a, a bad mental state and she needs this community and please don't block her and isolate her and, and support bullies. And... Now, um, okay, it's 1.30 in the morning. So now I'm really like, <gasps> what planet am I on? Did I fall asleep? Did a spaceship hover over? I'm like, you know, too late to have a cup of coffee and see. I mean, I seriously was like, this strange man is messaging me, a, a, a woman in the reborn, in the middle of the night. And, I, you know, apparently in that, that country, I guess it's morning and, you know, I'm headed off to work. I'm so concerned about my what? Well, holy Call a hospital. Bring her to the hospital. Call crisis. Get her to a support group for people with chronic depression or mental illness or whatever. I don't even know what her issues are. Go, you know, why are you messaging strange people on the internet in a doll collecting place? And you don't know me from a hole in the wall. I sure as crap didn't bully your wife. I've been nothing but nice. And as your wife has been making me so uncomfortable, like a vice, like you got a boa constrictor around you, and like, how do I get this thing off? I mean, and because I am kind-hearted and I'm thinking to myself this person is really suffering and I'm not sure why they're reaching out for mental help in the reborn doll community but they're here it's like you know you don't want to ignore like well why is this you know stray dog wandering around limping and starving to death you don't necessarily you know go with the why you go with well it's right in front of me how can I turn my back sort of thing um i'm sorry ladies i am you know i am not equipped to deal with mental health crises so i you know just for future reference anybody that's gonna come to me other than <laughs> we're collecting dolls let's talk about artists let's talk about school yes of course I, you know once you get chit chatting with friends you talk about oh you saw this going on you saw that going on normal stuff but when you're one-sidedly just pushing and pushing and pushing someone they never message you and they're they they are short responded they take days to get back to you. You know, you can't, you know, know that, you know, that person is not your best friend. They're being nice. Um, and some of you may not like this video, but I am really sorry. We are all entitled to have personal boundaries here. I'm not going to get into my own personal life and what I deal with in this, in my world. Many of you know I have a special needs child. I have four children. I have all kinds of stuff and stuff that I don't want to get into because I don't want to put that personal of information. I, I share my past and my history and things like that and I'm fine with that. But I'm not necessarily going to hop on here on a public forum and give you the here and now of the nitty gritty. Who would? Nobody airs their dirty laundry. But you have no idea what I shut off this camera and possibly deal with or not deal with. So, to you know, when someone is telling you, I'm here for the hobby, and this is my only escape. And I work so many hours a week and I have my family and my kids and this and that. And I have this small amount of time to enjoy making some videos and posting some photos and casually chit-chatting with people in the community about 
community related things and reborn related things. And this is the little bit of sanity that I have in my life right now. You, I'm entitled to that. Everyone is entitled to that. And everyone is entitled to draw, draw boundaries and not be harangued and harassed and badgered and pushed and pushed. Um, so, you know, I, I heard, you know, I actually, I heard that this recently from, um, you know, a larger channel and I've heard others say it you know, um, and taught, saying to all of you, you know, you all are trying to grow your channels and, um, you know, you're here and you know that you need to accept what comes along with it and you're going to have to grow through some thick skin and, you know, you wouldn't believe the stuff that comes along with it. I'm a little spit in the ocean. I'm a teeny tiny channel. But I've been here and just like us all going through the processes and I see, well, it's pretty damn sad when you have to grow skin so thick where you, you're ignoring, you know, people in pain and stuff. Now, there's a whole other flop side of this and that to me is more like drama related in a certain way, but this person kind of system it's their mo and they systematically go around and see i wouldn't entertain the listening to this person talking about other people constantly and the gossip and trying to suck me in and bait me and this you know well this i think this person's doing this to you and that person i don't want to know about this shit thank you no thank you so this person just hops and does this and maybe some people entertain it. You know, the person that, that she's claiming bullied her was simply coming on like I did and they, their pop was top, you know, their top was popped. <laughs> They've had enough. They've watched this person go around and do this. Then just, you know, just, pot stirrers, pot stirrers, and then cry, poor me victim, and look at me, and I'm depressed, and I'm not saying that this person doesn't have <laughs> mental issues, clearly, in some way they do, but what I'm saying is, is they're, they're using, and they're playing victim, when meanwhile, they're going and attacking, and going from this group to that group, from this person to that person, bringing you know, like the dog running in with the dead bird. Like, I don't want it. Thank you. I mean, the cat. You know how the cats? <laughs> Any of you that have owned cats that are outdoor cats? I haven't, but my husband has. When we first got together, I don't deal with the indoor outdoor. My cats are indoor. Anyway, the cats will bring you the dead bird and, like, leave it at, you, at the foot of your bed. They think they're bringing you a prize. Thank you, but no Thank you. So, um, I hope that this phone call didn't cut off my video because if I have to stitch it together, I, 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 sorry guys. So anyway, I'm sorry I didn't switch around babies. I kind of got heated into what I was talking about. Um, you know, um, I, I just really feel that it's important for us all here to, um, you know, um, Feel comfortable in drawing their boundaries. So I, that was my learning curve because I felt um, responsible for being overly kind and doing more than my duty as what someone should be here. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I allowed myself to be a doormat in that, in that certain respect, um, you know, because I, you know, once someone continues to cross boundaries, you know, I, it should have been stopped from the beginning. The red flag and totally in the beginning with the video that, you know, it's just not, um, I'm going to have to let that ring out. I just should not have felt obligated to entertain this person's messages when I saw that there was something very, you know, not right. 
Um, so I don't know if this will save you, any of you from having to go through that, but I do want to say that you're well within your rights and you are not responsible for someone else's mental health here. We are here. You are here. I am here for a hobby. Extend yourself to your friends. Extend yourself to strangers if you have the time and the desire and that's what you want to do. By all means, do it. I don't, that's, I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying every person has a right to decide that for themselves. Whether they have the time and the mental stamina or the capabilities to deal with people's, you know, things like that. Otherwise, you know, this is a doll collecting group. There are groups for, um, you know, um, support groups of chronic depression and all kinds of things where you can go and and they and they have people that are suffering from the same things for you to talk to, to relate to, and they will also provide you with resources hotlines, places to go, um, professionals to speak to, so that you get people, get the real help that they need instead of burying themselves into this hobby or that hobby where you're going to run into people that are, that are here for a hobby and they have every right to say, I'm so sorry, but I, what little time I have, you know, when my son is hanging off my, my leg, you know, or I'm faced with, I sit here and console you for an hour, or I take my only hour free time to make my video or take my pictures, you know, and everybody, you know, do a good deed once more. I do enough of that in, in my life and taking care of people. So everybody has a right to make that choice is what I'm saying. You're not wrong if you do, you're not wrong if you don't is all I'm saying. It's a very personal um, decision and, um, it, you know, that, that's what I'm trying to say. There is no right or wrong in what you choose for your comfort level here. And I just, that's what I wanted to express to you all. Um, you know, because I got caught in a situation, um, because I do have a kind heart and I was trying, but you know, my, uh, my, reasonable part of my brain was telling me, you know, this is, this is wrong. And, you know, it's, you know, I have a self-preservation place and, you know, when people invade it, you know, it's, it's not, you, you don't do that to people. You don't push yourself on people. So anyway, I'm taking no more private messages from people that I don't know. I mean, I can screen them so I could see if there's a reason why someone needs to, to message me. But otherwise, you know, there's a comment section to comment on my videos, to talk about the topic, to talk about your feelings, to ask me a question. Uh, you know, I'll see it. I'll eventually, if it has a question mark, I'm, you know, whatever. But that's what you know, otherwise a private message is when you need someone immediately. So if it's not an immediate something that I need to answer and it's somebody I don't know, I don't, this is not my business. I don't, I'm not an artist. I'm not, I'm not here making money. I don't need to answer stranger. It's not, it's not what I'm here for. Ay, 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 ay. As you can see, my phone, my cell phone's gone. Now the other phone's gone. You know, it's th that's you know. Anyway, I've rambled on enough. Enough. Let me know in the comments if you all understand what I'm saying. Um, and you know, the people that are are not gonna understand, th then this might not be the right channel for you to watch. And then you know, you don't have to watch. I don't have I'm not twisting anyone's arm to be here to listen to me there's a huge variety I'm not the only reborn channel I'm a, like I said I'm a little spit in the ocean there's tons of channels out there so you know and I'm not saying of course if you love a channel or and or a person and you watch them you're not always going to 100% agree with every single thing but if there's constant things that you that you feel look this person isn't my cup of tea then that's all I'm saying. I, I'm not, 
asking for subscribers. Yes, I remind people, you know, subscribe, hit the notification bell, da da da, da because some people forget. I forget to hit the like button on, and then people say it, and I'm like, oh yes, I can think of you a like, I love this video. Check the notification bell and things like that. It's a reminder. It's not a request of I'm trying to, you know, I, you know, I don't solicit people in that way, um, you know, because I want people to be here because they want to be here because they're enjoying themselves and because they're taking something out of it, not because I'm asking people to be here. I, if that makes any sense, I don't know. All right, ladies, thank you for listening to me, Amaron. Um, and um, till next time. God bless.